Okay, so these are the upgrade uh, MDF ter terrain system for the Devil's Run Route 666 uh, by Word Forge Games. It's essentially Mad Max board game, and what we're doing is we're replacing the uh, card stock that you get in the in the core set. These are, these are four sheets of double-sided card, so you get in eight tiles. So we, what we've done is we've, we've uh, officially licensed them through Word Forge Games. They're the exact uh, copies of the ones that you get in the artwork. And um, there's eight tiles. And also, in the box game, you get the, uh, the base box also doubles as a bridge, which is part of the terrain, which is quite clever. So we've also included that to make sure that you're getting everything that you get in the core set. Um, the etching for the brickwork is on the outside here, but if you wish, you could all, you could put it on the inside if you'd rather have it that way. Uh, and there's a lot of detail with the brickwork there. Uh, it, in the further part of this video, you'll see how we paint, very simply, paint and texture these tiles. And um, you can basically get the, uh, the simple core components that you need without going to great lengths it's all in the box there's even a template to do the the uh, road lines just lay on mask out the part you don't want and spray the lines down there so everything you need is in the in the kit to replace the core set and you've got the there's a few little pieces of debris that go in here but you can add your own pieces of grit we're going to go through that in a second with pva uh, you can even stick in little pieces of uh, rebar ironwork just drill some little holes in there so you can you still got to do some work you still got to do some modeling a little bit of graft, grass tufts and uh, some sand and pva and very basic uh, painting techniques we're going to show you and we put our stuff onto the bases some mbf bases so they're the same size but it's not necessary uh, here you can see the uh, war rig uh, for scale purposes it's absolutely massive and that's what the vehicles come like when you buy them and that's what they're like when you paint them so now we're going to show you how to turn this uh, upgrade MDF set into a uh, painted version okay so now we're going to show you how to add the texture to the baseboards before you uh, paint them up so we're putting a cheap PVA uh, just mainly in the center of the squares now you obviously need the squares for the game for location of your vehicles so you don't want to blanket the entire tile with PVA so we're just adding mainly to the centers uh, of, of the squares and then what you want to do is now and again go over some of the lines so that the majority of the square now and again you can you can see where it is during gameplay um, it's not difficult with the squares to see where you are um, but as long as you don't cover all the gaps you should be fine so we're going to add the PVA like this and then it's drying out a bit at the top there so we'll put a bit more on and then we'll just add some sand and I'll just put the entire base on a plastic tray to stop uh, sand going everywhere These are all drying out. Yeah, you haven't got to be exact with the process. I'm only putting a general light texture on there anyway. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've got some uh, builder's sand and we've uh, put it in a bowl, put it in the microwave. Uh, get all the moisture out of it, put it through a bit of a sieve and this is the cheapest way of getting a, a lot of sand it's only about £5 for a big bag of sand and then once it's all dried out and cooled down because it does get hot, you don't want to burn your fingers off we're just going to give it a light sprinkling we're only adding a base uh, texture at this point because we're going to add some paint and then we might have to add some more sand afterwards anyway And then that's it. We'll let it dry and then we'll hit it with some paints. Right, we're back. So, what I've done is I've just hit them with some uh, really cheap 
uh, rattle cans these are five pounds a can this is one of the brands that we use uh, which is quite cheap just upol and uh, there's a few others that you can find it's just basically car spray that's acrylic it's the cheapest way of doing it then you know you can use an airbrush but you'll use a lot of, a lot of paint and a lot of mire there this is very quick um, so after the uh, sand and PVA are dried uh, I just give it a layer of the uh, uh, this one's satin but I've used matte it doesn't really make any difference because we're going to go over it anyway um, now the good thing about them the, these tiles are dual layered um, these are the ones we've already stuck together the way you stick them together the best way is use we use a decent glue for when we're doing this kind of thing we use the gorilla glue it goes a long way it's really strong dries very quickly when we put in the uh, sand on we just use a cheap sort of school pva that's quite thin because uh, it doesn't really matter that much uh, so the best thing to do is, is use clamps if you've got them if you haven't got them use some quite strong pegs or if you, you want to use a bit of uh, tape or something uh, but be careful when using tape on bare MDF because it can pull away at the surface a little bit so we just use clamps and it's advisable to uh, paint the areas before separately like this hasn't been done yet because I've just done a little bit of uh, wet blending a bit of tissue and just messed it around a little bit while it was wet when that's dried spray this and I'll do all the all the grey parts to it next uh, and I'll finish that before I actually stick it on top there because it just saves a lot of time and then we'll start adding in some bits of debris on this one this one will just be glossed before I add this top piece to it and again this isn't glued at the moment this is just to show you how we do it um, because you just need a nice tight seal but once it's dried together you can see there put all the bits of grit inside it and put some grit on these contours here and uh, the paint helps to seal the uh, sand in so I, I usually hit them with a clear um, matte lacquer anyway when we finish just to give them more protection because they are a gaming board and you'd have the same problem if you scratch built your own anyway with uh, adding sand and PVA and that kind of thing uh, so the harder you can make it and the more sort of uh, treatments you can give it the better and more longer lasting your plane surface will be put a bit of texture on that piece there and uh, it's coming on so very very simple uh, probably used um, a can of the five pound spray because I, I went over it with a few coats making sure it had soaked into the uh, into the sand I don't know if these parts are going to be white and red these are going to be grey so I just did them while, while they were off um, this is going to be brick effect obviously try to make sure we've got in all the nooks and crannies with the spray so really simple nothing's uh, out of anybody's reach at the moment it's very very simple techniques that we're using and the next spray I'm using is just a cheap uh, acrylic grey primer uh, to do and I'll be, what I'll be doing is spraying it uh, from an angle uh, so it goes across uh, and we're going to do the parts that look like like the road uh, and then the next part from that is once you've got the sort of road surface textured adding more sand to the parts that you want to have sand on um, you know there's nothing beats the look of sand like sand obviously the only difference is it's a different color which is why uh, when I get the army painter um, army painter brown um, spray sand spray that which is on its way uh, I'll show you what I do there with the finishing touches and then it's just a case of dry brushing a few inks here and there nothing that's really taxing or technical it's just the uh, sequence that you do it in is probably more the key than anything else so we'll be back in a second okay so I've done the uh, grey spray uh, not too close you know you don't want to get it blasting into the uh, crevices uh, so you just give it a blast and the thing what we're after is this kind of finish here now the lines exist in this uh, design only for reference for your vehicles we don't want them to be amazingly prominent uh, so we're not going to be trying to get washes down there and everything like that as long as you can see the grid which you can that's the effect that we're after um, so if you're looking at the bridge we've got a nice bit of modulation this is all done with the rattle cans uh, PVA and sand and black primer so 
uh, there you go you can see it's quite a good effect you can still see the grid and because we left some of the gaps and the PVA it hasn't obscured the location and you can easily see where your vehicle's got to be uh, now the next step will be to add more sand because some of these tiles there's not a lot of uh, detail on them because most of the detail has just got to be sand now the next part we'll be using the template that comes with the kit I'm going to be putting the template on uh, masking off a piece of paper over here uh, putting the double lines down the center then we'll mask off single line and put the single lines where they need to be on either side they're going to be white the center is going to be yellow we'll do that on all of them for, from this stage because the next part we'll be adding more PVA and more sand the fine sand that we've uh, used the sieve on this is the stuff that is left and if you're using sharp builders sand like we are this is what's left when you've sieved out all the thin stuff that's what we've used here for the sort of road texture and then these are the bits that we've used in here where all the all the brakes are and just added a bit around here where the more debris is we don't generally want that all over your board because your, your vehicles won't sit right so um, the next part will be PVA adding more sand uh, to where the sand is going to be so on some of the tiles if you look on the tiles I'll just get one now Let's move that one that's the barrier so this one for example is, is that one there the barrier we're going to paint some color on but I'll be using um, just hand brush and you've got things like this one so as you can see there's not a lot of road texture because the sand dune that goes across it so we're going to be adding more sand to give it a bit, little bit more of a texture gain across in the same sort of pattern as the tile we've got here using that as a, as a base and then when the army painter spray comes hopefully tomorrow morning I'll be spraying on the army painter selectively and blasting it from certain edges crossways as if it's blown and sometimes from a distance outside just to give a bit of a sandy sort of uh, glaze effect to it all um, and I'll just sort of bind it all together but that's like sort of the last step you'll do um, to give it that sort of uh, deserty effect so as you can see it's coming on nicely and uh, the next step as I say will be putting the uh, road colorings on Okay, so I've used the uh, template, as you can see, it's covered in yellow. Uh, you can use an airbrush if you've got one, uh, or you can use something like we did. Uh, we found this, it's called Filler Primer. Uh, this one's by High Coat, it's only £5 as usual. Um, we found this is really cool. Um, it's got a really thick cover capability. You don't it's a, because it's a primer. It'll go to pretty much anything. Now, I've actually painted some miniatures with it as, as just a straight on base coat, and then used washes on it in all sorts. It's quite versatile. We've used it on the Drop Zone Commander uh, buildings also. The yellow that you see on that is used with filler primer. Uh, so we just uh, make sure it's flat. I've put it in position and I've taped it at both ends. There's a bit of an overhang. I've taped it under at both ends when I've got it in position. Make sure it's flat. Hit it with a quick blast. You don't need too much. Don't need to go too mad with it. And it'll get on there. Now if you make a mistake, which uh, I have a little bit here, you see, it's just bled out. We'll get rid of that later when we're doing some dry brushing and uh, washes and that kind of thing. Um, like here where I've got some rubble which I've put in situ when I've sprayed it all black um, put, the, put it flat where you can both ends and then just line it up with some tape and I'll just patch that in with some, some spray in a second uh, and, and there you go what you don't want is to try and put it across there where it's raised up because you'll just get a blast straight the way across uh, I'm only telling you in case you've not used templates much before I'm not trying to teach you how to suck eggs um, but as you can see it's working quite well there's another bit of bleed there where I put too much spray on, but as I say, it's not a problem. But all the lines are in there. Now what we're going to do with the template is we're going to completely mask off one of the sides. And we're going to line it up for the single white line on all the tiles. And then uh, onto the sand. Okay, so here's a few uh, pictures of the uh, finished article. Uh, all I've done is 
like I said, we've added the uh, extra layers of sand with more PVA uh, to closely match the original artwork on the tiles as we can. Um, and then what I've done is, uh, and you don't have to do this, but I did it because uh, using it more for the game is um, I've put some washes on a, I've got some wash on a brush, and I've just painted in uh, where on the on the sand some some little lines where uh, the uh, the uh, squares are, uh, and all that, all that does, like I say, is it makes it uh, easy for you to um, locate your vehicles when you're playing the game. Um, the uh, next thing I did was uh, I was using black and I was using brown washes uh, and then I got a dry brush um, and I was doing um, some light browns and some bleach bones and that kind of thing. Uh, as you can see here I've uh, got a bit of the uh, Blood for the Blood God from GW and done some blood effects. Uh, water effects, all different kinds of blues and greens and just go to town if you want to. Uh, obviously there's people out there who can do a far better job than we have but we're just trying to show you some basic techniques. Uh, on that bridge just we uh, use some weathering powders. So the tiles take they take powder as well, they take wash as well uh, and you can uh, spend as much or as little time as you want to uh, to make it an effective system. Uh, we're really happy with the product, it's really robust, it's nice and heavy and it should last you a long time. Uh, whilst you're uh, out in the wastes playing the amazing Devil's Run Route 666, which we really enjoy. So I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed the video and it's useful to you. And uh, if you buy the set, uh, I really appreciate it and thank you very much.